Here we go with your week three, day two, full body circuit. Today's circuit gets a little longer with two new movements. We have your modified jumping jacks and staggered stance A's. I wanted to point a couple things out about each of these movements. All right, so modified jumping jacks. Jumping jacks are a classic exercise and I often see people missing out on the full benefit. So as we do this, we wanna make sure that you don't keep your arms right above your head, but instead that you reach up nice and high and then bring them all the way down. So extra range of motion. So here we're just building that flexibility and mobility right into our workout. So reaching up nice and high as opposed to keeping them close. And then also, Again, maybe this is because it's a classic and performed often, we can get kind of loosey-goosey and sloppy with the movement. Think about driving your arms up, driving them down, driving them up and driving them back down. So that extra movement, the extra precision activation will go a long ways. The staggered stance A's, these are a shoulder health and posture building movement. As you perform this, you'll draw your arms back. I like to imagine I'm hitting a wall right at my midline and not moving any further back. Kind of like our straight leg raise where I talked about oftentimes we think more range of motion is better and it's really not because we're compensating. The same thing holds true with our staggered stance A's. If we're flinging our arms back behind us, we're actually starting to put some bad pressure on the front of our shoulder. So we wanna keep everything right at that midpoint of our torso and once we hit there, generate more tension by squeezing your shoulder blades together versus flinging your arms back and letting your shoulders round forward. So feel that wall behind you, push into it as hard as you can so you can get as much activation and benefit as possible. All right, let's grab your mat and your weights and we'll get started. That's the only way to get that high.
worse She's not scared about making your spine shiver She's a savage causing damage Way up in the clouds, in the clouds, yeah Better put your guard up before you get let down Better know when to stop She's a heartbreaker, a little dangerous Running through your mind with, with a razor You might not see how she plays with your heart She's a heartbreaker, a heartbreaker For her next victim She's a player Out to play ya Take some One by one One by one Yeah Better put your guard up Before you get let down Better know when to stop She's a heartbreaker A little dangerous Running through your mind with With a razor You might not see how she plays with your heart She's a heartbreaker
cage The walls, the walls, they keep closing in I need a place where I can breathe Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Let me swim deep, find a better way Something to light up a spark again So lift me up to a higher state Oh yeah, yeah, yeah It's time to say goodbye, leave it all in full dark time Need you to hold your breath, swim till you reach a deeper end we It's time to leave, it's time to break free from the shallows, shallows Whatever means it's time to break free from the shallows, shallows
your backs and then you will go away I'm not gonna be begging you to stay mm -hmm. Say maybe if you asked me yesterday I would handle this differently Things are different, I'm a new me That's not gonna happen That's not gonna happen That's not, that's not gonna happen So even if you're asking
nice work today. Hopefully movements are starting to feel easier. You notice you're able to move through a greater range of motion and any soreness or stiffness that you may have had in week one or two is gone. We'll take a day off and then pick it back up with our day three strength and mobility workout. Thanks for joining me.